Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show how to estimate the propensity score weighting using logistic regression in SPSS. For this presentation, I create a folder named Unit Known Response in my directory C, and inside this folder, I also include two new subfolders. The first one is named Demo OT and is the one that we are going to use for this presentation. As soon as you open the folder, you are going to find a data set and another file that is a SPSS syntax. So let's open our syntax file. So we can follow the steps from that file. Let me share for you here. As you can see, this syntax file will include some steps from the uh, predicting the predicting probability from using the logistic regression all the way to the outcome analysis. So now let's begin by open our data set. This is our data set. And as you can see, we have eight variables. The first one is our identification, and then we have our outcome variable, mental health. The variable name responded classifies all respondents into equals one, and known respondents equals to zero. Then we have four covariates, gender, confidence in health providers, number of hospital visits, and age category. Let's see in this data set how many participants we have. Here we have 2,800 participants and for those we have information in our outcome variable mental and then we have a portion of 5,917 people who did not answer to our survey. So we don't have information in our outcome variable for that. Now let's go to analyze regression binary logistic in order to calculate our predicted probability values. So now we are going to choose the variable respondents that classifies or groups into respondents and non-respondents. Then when we are going to choose gender, confidence, number of hospital visits, and age category. Remember that you also can include interaction terms in, in the case you are interested in. We are not going to include them at this point. Also, remember that age and gender are categorical variables. Now we are going to save our predicted probabilities and press OK. As you can see now, we have a new variable in our data set and it is the predicted probability of responding to our survey based in the covariates that we include in the model. With this variable now, we are going to calculate a new one that is named weight and it's going to be the inverse of the predicted probability. As we are going to calculate weight for the respondents, we are only going to include them into this step. Remember respondents, we're equal to one. Now, as you can see, we have a new variable in our data set and is the weight that is only included, included for the participants to account for the non-participants. Now let's go back to our syntax file. And as you can see now, we fulfill the step number one. Also, we create the weight as the inverse of the predictive probability. And now what we are going to do is to create and save a new data set that is only going to include the respondents portion of our sample. As you can see in this new data set, we only have complete information from the respondents, but also we have the weight variable that is 
accounting for non-response. As we want to continue with outcome analysis, but we want to include weight, we have to work with analyze, complex sample, and we have to prepare us for sample or analysis. So we have to create a plan. Let's save this plan into our folder under the name only respondent plan. What we are doing now is telling SPSS we have a data set that follows a complex design and it's including weights. In this second window, we are going to include the design variables. We don't have a strata information in this case, and also we don't have clusters, but we have weights. We are going to continue with something with replacement for this example. And we are going to save our plan. Now, we already specified to SPSS that we have a complex design to follow. So let's go again to analyze complex design and let's do some descriptive statistics. We will use the plan that we just created. And for example, let's see the variable mental and some descriptive statistics. As you can see in the result, we or variable mental has a mean of 48.35 and a standard error of 0 0.20. Remember that this analysis was only including the respondents, but also including the non-response weights. Now let's go back again to our syntax file. And as you can see, we fulfill each step in this process. Also, if you open right now our folder, you are going to find two new files. The first one is the only respondents data set, and the second one is the complex sample design plan. So in the next video, I'm going to show how to estimate the propensity score weighting using the package TWAN in R. Thank you so much.